the James E. Street Show's Carnival Train, which has hauled midway attractions to fairs up and down the East Coast since 1934, may have unceremoniously made its last trip. When the 45-car train was spotted on the two spurs adjacent to the Straits headquarters outside of Orlando, Florida on November 22, 2019, the family-run company had every intention of taking the show to the rails again in the spring. But no one anticipated the C-19 pandemic which wiped out the annual fair schedule as mass gatherings were banned in 2020. Fairs returned in 2021 but were scaled back due to pandemic-related capacity limits. The attendance caps upended the railroad economics restraints. With smaller fares and midways, it didn't make sense to use the train and its ability to haul everything in the straits inventory. The show hit the road in 2021 using trucks to reach fares from Florida to Vermont. Straits and CSX have been unable to reach a contract agreement which has kept the train parked since the end of the 2019 season. CSX rates are now more expensive than trucking, which makes it increasingly unlikely that the last carnival train will roll again. The train's arrival near the fairgrounds on the short line Buffalo Southern attracts a crowd that often numbers in the thousands. The Straits are proud of the family history and their role in keeping a slice of Americana alive. But they're also shrewd business people. Price trumps tradition. CSX's contract rate quotes for the Straits train have gone up more than 25% overall since the pandemic. Straits asked for tariff rates. They were more expensive than contract rates, which is not uncommon. The deal killer, though, was for the final two legs of the trip back to Orlando. The rate for moving from Augusta, Georgia to Tallahassee, Florida via CSX and jumping from there to Orlando via a combination of the Florida Gulf and Atlantic and CSX more than double, making rail four times more expensive than trucking. Considering that, Straits has not bothered to seek rates from Norfolk Southern for its portion of the train's traditional route. It's important to understand that the choice here is not even terribly close, Jimmy Strait says of moving by truck instead of train. A major component of the rate for a special unit train move rose sharply under the National Contract Congress imposed in 2022. It provided an immediate 14% bump in pay, retroactive to 2020. And engineer and conductor pay will rise 24% over the life of the five-year contract. The service requirements for the straights train are tight. After a fare winds down on a Sunday, the loaded train must depart by late Monday night or in the wee hours of Tuesday morning in order to make it to its next destination in time to allow for unloading and midway setup for a Friday fair opening. If we're one day off from going from point A to point B and we don't make opening, we're talking about a major financial loss not just for us, but for our fair and festival partner. Based on those requirements, the straight train would be the hottest train on the railroad, even rating above a CSX priority intermodal train that carries UPS traffic. Some of the straight's rides cannot move over the highway. The Top Spin, a popular thrill ride that whips riders through a series of flips, spins, and turns, weighs in at a whopping 185,000 pounds. The maximum gross weight for a truck is 80,000 pounds, and it's not practical to disassemble the Top Spin into truck-friendly pieces. Now, just like the straight's train itself, the Top Spin isn't going anywhere anytime soon. The seeds of Straits' shift to trucks were planted decades ago. In January 1994, the Ringland Brothers and Barnum & Bailey Circus train derailed on CSX near Lakeland, Florida, killing an elephant trainer and a clown. That prompted CSX to require that Straits carry an unattainable $200 million insurance policy. The prior requirement was for $5 million in coverage. Straits enlisted the aid of Buffalo area representative Jack Quinn. CSX relented and the train continued to roll but without passengers aboard it. Instead, Straits began to bus its workers from fair to fair while using the passenger equipment as lodging near fair locations. The episode was a wake-up call for the Straits company. Straits had already been using trucks to reach fares in the Sunshine State. Eventually, Straits began to use the train as a hub. From Middletown, New York, for example, Straits would use trucks to reach fares in the Hudson Valley, in Connecticut, and out on Long Island. 
Then the equipment will be loaded back on the train for the trip to the Erie County Fair via a combination of Norfolk Southern and Buffalo Southern. Straight stopped using its passenger equipment altogether in 2013, making the train a freight only consist of flat cars with ramps that permit circus style loading. The hub experience helped Straits shift entirely to trucking in 2021, bringing the curtain down on the last carnival train. As a comparison, Ringling Brothers stopped hauling its three-ring circus train back in 2017. Looking back, we are the strongest family in the sense that we are the last carnival and circus train that made it, John Strait says. There's nobody else running around and putting up with all the headaches. And I do believe that we just did everything that we had to do as hard as we could to stay on the rails for as long as we could.